Dr. Michael Mina is Assistant Professor of Epidemiology at the Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health. Um, uh, it's good to see you, Doctor. Last time we spoke, which was December, you made the strong case for cheap home testing so people knew if they were contagious before they left the house. What has changed since then in terms of availability or plans to get these to people? Well, the, the biggest thing that has changed, uh, of course, is we have a new administration in the United States, uh, and uh, President Biden has made it uh, a priority to really ramp up uh, rapid testing as a part of the overall uh, COVID response that he's been putting together along with his administration. So I think the we are now starting to see uh, some evidence that they are carrying through. They're, they're starting to make uh, increasing investments in some of the rapid test companies uh, to help scale them up and, and hopefully get those tests out to the American public. Yeah, they're looking at uh, half a dozen, I think, rapid test candidates, but the, the one that they're going to be pushing is from Loom. That's, I know that that's one that they're looking at closely. The current price on that is $30 um, a test. You're, you've, you've pushed for these tests that are, I think, pennies. Is that right? Is it realistic to have $30 tests that people are going to use more than, you know, once in a blue moon? No, the, the Illum test is, uh, is a nice test, but it's really going to be more of a one-time test for people. It's not going to be the frequent type of test that I've been calling for. Uh, the frequent tests are really just plain, simple paper strip test, much like a pregnancy test, but no electronics, no batteries, no Bluetooth, just a very simple test that people could use two or three times uh, a week in their home. That is the type of fast, frequent, and accessible testing that we really need to, to help get, uh, get control of COVID in, in the United States. And, 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 just, and just real quick, for people who don't know, the advantages of people having these in their bathroom cabinet, uh, do it three times a week is? So the, the best thing about having frequent tests is that you can know that you are infectious before you actually go out and infect other people. It, these tests should be used in such a way that if you're using them uh, two or three times a week, uh, they take about 30 seconds to actually use and then about 15 minutes to wait until the result comes up. And that's enough. You brush your teeth, you use a COVID test. And if it's negative, you go about your day exactly how you otherwise would have. But if it's positive, then you stay home for a number of days and you don't go to you don't go to work, you don't go to school, you don't go to see your family for Friday night dinner. You are empowered to make choices that uh, that would help you to prevent yourself from spreading the virus to other people. And if you're not testing very frequently for a virus like coronavirus, then it's much more likely that you will miss the transmission window. If you're testing once every two weeks with a PCR test, uh, then you are unlikely to actually catch yourself before you go and transmit to other people. If the PCR test takes two or three days to return, uh, then you're very unlikely to catch yourself uh, before you go on to uh, infect other people. And so these types of tests, these really cheap paper strip types of tests, which can be antigen, they can also be RNA tests. Uh, these are the kind that we, will, that we need to see get out to people's homes so they can do it very frequently enough to stop their own transmission.